Hello everyone, uh, Anish Guri drew his game against Vasily Ivanchuk today and uh, unfortunately he did lose his uh, game yesterday against Ivanchuk and uh, this means he's out of the competition for the World Cup, uh, Vasily Ivanchuk is going to the quarterfinals, so uh, very nice success for Vasily, but uh, as Anish Guri is an excellent player it would only be fair to show one game where he, well, uh, completely destroys his opponent as this is something uh, you don't usually see in Guri's games. Uh, as I did say yesterday, Giri doesn't win a lot of his games, but uh, he doesn't really lose a lot of them uh, either. So it's really it's really a, a, a real treat when Giri decimates someone. And uh, this game was played in 2012. It was played in a rapid tournament in Beijing, China. Uh, Giri is playing with the white pieces against Alexander Morozovich with the black pieces. So let's see this game. It's, uh, well... Uh, if if you gave me a, a, a hundred guesses, I, I I would never say that Giri played this game. Uh, we have d4, knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to f3, d5, we have g3, and d captures on c4, and bishop to g2, so the Catalan opening. And, uh, well, here black has a number of options. He can go bishop to e7, he can go bishop to, G, bishop to b4 check. Uh, c5 is an option, uh, but uh, as this is a rapid game, Morozovic played b5. Uh, Giri plays a4, he wants to break up this structure immediately. We have c6, uh, knight to e5. Now, not allowing uh, black to play knight to e7, uh, he, he's attacking that, uh, well, uh, c6 pawn twice. So we have knight to d5, this stops the bishop's uh, attack to the pawn on c6. Uh, we have castles by Giri and a6. And here we have a capture some b5, c capture some b5, and b3. Now again going for for that c4 pawn, trying to break uh, break uh, black's pawn structure. Uh, we have c capture some b3, queen capture some b3, and bishop to b7. Uh, we have e4 by Giri attacking this knight on d5. Uh, we have knight to f6, and now as black king is still in the center, Giri goes for the aggressive d5. And okay, uh, Morozovic plays bishop to d6, and here we have a move that, uh, well, uh, <laughs> you wouldn't expect from Giri. Uh, Morozovic is ready to castle here, uh, everything is in place, uh, but Giri doesn't allow this. He plays knight captures on f7, uh, attacking the queen, the rook, the bishop on d6, and uh, well, black doesn't really have a better move than to capture this knight. So we have king captures on f7, and we have d captures on e6 with check, and the queen is protecting this pawn on e6. And, uh, well, you can't really play a move like king to g8, for example, because you get uh, e7, and this is, well, pretty much, this is winning the queen here. So after this, uh, d captures on e6 check, uh, we have king to e8, and gear plays e5. And this is a double attack on the bishop on d6 and also on the knight on f6. And uh, also this is attacking this bishop on b7. So it's uh, pretty, you know, it's not weird to wonder. Is, is this entire attack based on the fact that this bishop on b7 is undefended? Who knows? Uh, Morozovic plays bishop captures on g2 and we have uh, e captures on f6. And already this is move 17, Giri has a pawn on e6 and a pawn on f6, and this is very, very dangerous. Uh, again, black can't castle here because uh, e7 is coming. So in this position we have queen captures on f6. And here, okay, Giri captures the bishop, uh, king captures on g2, and we have queen captures on a1. And, uh, well, okay, what are you gonna play here? I mean... Uh, uh, white is offering a full rook, so Morozovic captures it. Uh, he plays queen captures on a1, and we have bishop to b2 now with an attack on the queen. We have queen to a4, offering the exchange of queens, but of course Giri is a rook down, so he plays queen to f3. And this is a very nice move, uh, it stops black from castling, it also attacks this rook on a8. So, uh, well, what does Morozovic play here? Uh, Morozovic is up a whole rook here, and well... Uh, it is a rapid game and uh, he does have to figure out what to play here. And probably the best move here would be queen to c2 with an attack on this bishop here on b2. Uh, but Morozovic decided to play a rook to a7 and well this is uh, preventing white from capture the rook on a8 and also it's protecting uh, queen to f7 check. So it seems like a pretty decent move. Uh, but Giri here, here plays a rook to c1. 
and uh, he's uh, threatening rook to c8 check. So Morozovic stops this, he plays king to d8, and uh, well, how do you continue this attack with white? Uh, it's, it's, it's not a very easy move to find, but uh, you continue this uh, attack with white by actually continuing the attack, and uh, Giri plays a bishop to f6 with check. And again, it's very. I, I, I'm really not used to Giri playing like this, uh, as this is a fantastic game. Uh, we have bishop to f6 check, and uh, well, uh, can you capture this bishop with g captures on f6? Let's see what happens if he does this. If uh, g captures on f6, you get queen captures on f6 with check. And uh, well, this rook is covering this c file, this pawn here is uh, protecting d7, so the king can't really move. Uh, only move black can play is really, well, king to e8, although this isn't really an option. Uh, you have bishop to e7 and rook to e7. And if, for example, bishop to e7, you get queen captures on h8 with check. And this doesn't just win back the rook, it's also an uh, unstoppable checkmate in one. Because still, the, ca the king can go to the c-file, d7 is covered, only move is bishop to f8, and now queen captures on f8 is instant checkmate. So after this bishop to f6 check idea by Giri, uh, Morozovic of course doesn't have the option of capturing the bishop. Uh, he tried uh, bishop to e7 and here we have queen to d5 check by Giri. And uh, well again, what do you play here? Uh, you definitely, if possible, you don't want to give back uh, any pieces. So if king to e8 you get rook to c8 check. and you don't really have a move here. Bishop to d8 and rook captures on d8. This is checkmate. Uh, f7 square is covered by this pawn. So after queen to d5 check, Morozovic uh, had to play knight to d7. This is preventing uh, the check. And now, well, in this position, uh, you do have to find, uh, find an interesting move. And uh, when I first saw this position, I thought, well, this is a rapid game. Of course, Morozovic probably played something like queen to c6. Uh, but if queen to c6 uh, threatening checkmate on c8, uh, Morozovic actually plays simply bishop captures on f6 and already white has nothing here. Black is defending and uh, black is even better in this position. So in this position after this uh, knight to d7 idea, uh, Giri had to find a winning move and it's actually a, a pretty silent move. Uh, it's, uh, well, Giri is down a rook, so simply bishop to d4 and uh, this is now attacking this rook and uh, w what do you play here for black? Uh, probably the, the, the best move uh, that the engine gives is queen capture this bishop on d4 because the rook can't go to b7, he can't go to a8, the queen is covering a8 uh, but uh, Morozovic played rook to c7 uh, trying to exchange this rook on c1 and Giri simply played queen to a8 check and uh, well there, there, is no, there is no defense against this uh, uh, in this position, Alexander Morozovic resigned the game. Uh, only move is like, uh, for example, knight to b8. Uh, sorry, uh, only move is uh, knight to b8. And after queen captures here, rook to c8. And well, either rook captures or queen captures on c8. This is uh, checkmate. Uh, but yeah, uh, we didn't see this after queen to a8. Alexander Morozovic resigned the game. And this is, uh, well, this is definitely the most exciting game I've ever seen played by Geary as uh, I, I did see a lot of Geary's games but this is uh, simply this is simply beautiful as uh, whenever someone says uh, as of this moment that well Geary's games are boring or you know, you know uh, Geary only plays for a draw I will just uh, show them this uh, 2012 game against Alexander Morozovic in Beijing China as this is uh, this is a beauty so yeah uh, this is the game. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. And uh, I will. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Alistair McLean, uh, Jason Green, and John Erhardt for your contribution to my channel. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And yeah, that's it. Uh, thank all for watching, and uh, I will see you soon.